Okay, in this video I'm going to show you that it is possible to install the ASIC server into VMware Workstation 6.5. So that means to start to create new virtual machine. using the ISO from the VMware website. I'm going to choose uh, Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux Core 64-bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to choose the location for my virtual machine. having all my virtual machines in one folder so I'm going to create a new folder for my virtual machine I'm going to name it okay number of processors of course one processor amount of RAM A bridged net networking because the, the machine is going to be bridged into my physical network because it has its QZ adapter. I'm going to create a new virtual disk. Disk 8 giga, 8 gigs. I'm going to choose the location of the virtual disk. It's important to allocate, to allocate all this, all the place for the virtual disk right now. It's 8 gigs you're going to need for your ASIC server. Okay, it's location in the same folder also. Customize the processor, which is going to be the Intel VT UMD V processor compatibility mode. So now I'm going to create the virtual disk. I'll pause the video a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to start my virtual machine. Starting the ASIC server actually. Starting the installation on the ASIC server. The virtual machine is installing. Skipping the media test. What you see is actually if you were in front of your physical server, but all this is happening inside my VMware workstation. Okay, so we have the installer, we choose the language, then we choose the mouse, choosing the partitions, agree the license agreement. Automatical partition. Okay, so this is the recapitulation. Click next. In the bootloader, I use the default configuration. So I'm gonna assign the IP address to my virtual ES6 server. The IP address I can use on my physical network, but my company network, company name. 
the eye and the genus. Example, just the time zone, just need to be followed. NBBV password confirmation next. Next, and here we go. So we're going to start the installation process. Not very long. I'm just gonna let you to see the beginning. Then I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, voila. So the installation ES6 server is complete. Gonna reboot the virtual machine, virtual USX server, USX USX server. Okay, and that's it. The machine is installed. It's starting up. All this is happening actually inside of the VMware Workstation 6.5. As you see, I can simulate the installation and the configuration afterwards. I'm going to make another video. See, it's uh, S6 is starting up. There was an error, I don't know why. I, IP and I interface. Okay, here we go. And uh, what you see that you can actually access the ES6 server to the web interface. I'm not gonna do it, but uh, it's uh, for you to see that uh, you can uh, then manage the ASIC server from the web interface. Okay, that's it for now.